The biflex lens is a very convincing lens which is particularly easy to insert. This is due to the implant's flexibility, a highly useful characteristic when performing surgery through very small incisions. The biflex lens is inserted using an injector, which enables the implant to be guided directly into the capsular bag. The injector can be withdrawn from the capsular bag in a highly controlled manner, without causing any damage to the surrounding structures. This injection system obviates the use of excessive force and speed, which could lead to problems during surgery, during withdrawal. I'd like to stress that the injector cartridge comes out smoothly, thereby effectively preserving lens transparency. I've seen no scratches on biflex lenses inserted into the capsular bag, despite this being a common occurrence with other types of intraocular lenses. Loading a biflex lens is very simple. You just place it in the middle of the cartridge in its Z position. Press gently and fold back the side struts near the optics without overlapping them. This results in perfect positioning within the closed cartridge. The piston is perfectly positioned in relation to the cartridge opening, and the cartridge itself, as well as the injector, are both easy to manipulate and simple to use during surgery. Another characteristic of this lens is that it can be very well positioned within the capsular bag. It's a lens that, with its side struts unfolded, takes up all the space within the capsular bag with a very high contact angle. And even in cases where the pupil is very narrow, the lens positioning within the capsular bag is perfect. Among other positive features, centering is virtually automatic. You insert the lens into the capsular bag and it positions itself during suction of the viscoelastic gel. With just a few movements, the lens moves into place without any further adjustment. Which means that in my view, we also have an excellent design for a toric lens. The biflex lens can go through a 1.8 millimeter incision. Personally, I prefer to work with a 2.0 millimeter incision to guarantee totally safe phacoemulsification. A 1.8 millimeter incision is still currently a bit too small as it determines the fluidity of the phacoemulsification. The incision puts pressure on the silicon sleeve and so does not allow precise control, unlike a 2.0 millimeter opening. In my opinion, a 2.0 millimeter incision is perfect for mix, and the biflex lens is perfectly suited to 2.0 millimeter surgery, as it was designed to be injected with smaller diameters down to 1.6 millimeters. To the extent that the biflex lens slides perfectly into the cartridge, and that the injector itself is a perfect fit for its conical shape, it goes without saying that with a 2.0 millimeter incision, the injector can easily enter the anterior chamber. Even with deep eyes, as can be the case with nearsighted people, you can insert the injector, and by extension, the lens, into a very deep cavity, beyond the capsular rexus of the anterior capsule, in complete safety.